I be getting to the money. Everybody man. This is London Tay coming to you today with another video. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how I got these foam shell curls real quick, real easy on some affordable AliExpress hair. This is a lace closure wig. Hope you guys are enjoying these back-to-back -back videos. We do have a hurricane that is on the way, so I'm trying to push these videos out. Um, I'm probably going to push another one out in the morning time. I'm going to push this out. Um, by the time you guys get this, it will be Thursday. Even though it's already Thursday, it's 3.50 a.m. The hurricane is supposed to hit this evening. So, I'm trying to go ahead and bust these videos out for you guys. So, I'm probably going to stay up until the middle of the night to edit this. It's fall time. It's time for some fall looks. It's time for something different. So, if you guys like what you see, then go ahead and continue watching. So I have a wig from Angel Grace Hair. Um, I did dye like a little blonde patch in the front. I think that style is so cute. So I decided to do it with this hair. This hair is, it's a closure wig. As you can see, I bleached the knot. And I dyed this blonde patch in the front. You see, I already got my nude cap from the other hairstyle that I just did. And if you did not already check that video out, go ahead and check that video. did not put a new cap under it so it looks like I over plucked um, the part so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna get like a brown liner and I'm just gonna fill in the part a little bit so I'm just gonna get a brown liner and I'm going to just fill in I already did some off camera but I'm just gonna show you guys what I did Next, I'm going to um, just lay this closure flat. Okay, so I'm going to use a little bit of this got to be, some got to be glue spray, and I'm just going to spray where this is going to be, this closure is going to lay. If it drips down, then clean it up. Even if you don't like the baby hair look, Pull baby hair out anyway. This is just gonna help you lay the front of the wig. And then to be sure, I'm just gonna spray a little bit of it.
after I hot comb the hair in place, I'm going to part in four sections. Those are the sections I'm going to go by when it comes to flat iron it. So the flat iron I use is plugged in flat iron. I got it from Sally's. I use that flat iron with every single one of my styles, professional or not professional. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab small sections, detangle with the small tooth comb. And when it comes to the flat iron, I am left handed. So this right here is on my right side. I know it looks opposite to you guys. It looks to the left side for you guys, but it's actually my right side. So with that side, I curl, um, I'm going to curl all my curls backwards first of all. I'm going to curl the curls backwards, but I'm going to point the flat iron upwards. And then when it comes time, time to take down the curls, I'm going to use a, the small tooth comb to kind of, um, to take the curls off of the flat iron and let them set. I do not maneuver or mess with the curls until the curls have all cooled down. When it comes to the other side of my head, um, since I'm left handed again, on my left side, I'm going to um, point the flat iron downwards and that's gonna give me a good grip and a good hand motion to know how to do the curls the same way as they are on the other side. So I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial oh, and guys don't forget to comment and engage with me and talk with me so I know what you guys like and don't like. Alright guys well I hope you guys are safe if you're in the east coast like I am and I will talk to you guys later. It is literally 6 in the morning and I have not gotten any sleep so I'm about to crash. Alright love you guys so much. Bye bye.